Welcome back, everybody, to Earthbound. Today we're well, we're gonna try and figure out what what's up with these with these peeps here that are shy. Let's talk to this guy. There is a book to fix shyness. Just rumor. Eh, what is? And then let's see. Yeah, there's there's this here that'll cure. Uh, Status ailments. And then we have this guy. Shy that we are, and then this guy is not shy. Hmm. Dinosaurs! Right then. It's been a while since I've recorded. How am I doing on my shits? Uh, I'm doing fine. Okay, so now we'll exit Denda Village and try and figure out if we can get a solution to the problem here. Oh, and a phone call. Hey, it's Apple Kid. Hmm. Eraser, eraser. Well, that's no good. Another call? Orange kid! You're useless. Overcoming shyness. Alright, well, let's... Let's teleport to Winters, I guess. Figure out our shits here. Let's figure out what's going on. Oh yeah, I remember this. This is... I was like, now... I'm back in this place. But it's like, I still can't... Uh... What, what am I doing? I still can't remember how to do... How to go about the place, because there's like all sorts of dead ends and shit. By the way, the Wooly Shambler, weak to the the uh, same element that he lives in, which is kind of odd. Very weak to freeze. Just, uh, just thought I would point that out. Good thing that butterfly was right there. Yeah, it won't matter soon, though. So we gotta go all about this place. That was almost a red screen, the thing darting around there. A whirling Robo, they would be really just be a bash fest if it's solo. That's a dead end. The most roundabout way sometimes is, is the way to go. Ah, we have another photo man spot. I don't think I'm going to go for all 32 of these. Just because stuff. Uh, 
Alright, now is it this place where I could rest? Now is this place where I could save? I could have rested a little further north, but eh, who cares? Yeah, here we go. Jeff fixed the broken bazooka! And he has the heavy bazooka. That will be useful! Because the heavy bazooka acts as a super bomb. Only it's not gone after one use. So, very nice to have that thing. Oh, look at this! It's Tessie! We get to see Tessie again. Always, always good to see good old Tessie. Let's hop aboard and head to the southern part of Winters. And have all the fun times. And we have arrived. Say goodbye to Tessie, everybody. That's the that's the last time we will be seeing Tessie for the rest of the game. Unfortunately. And now we must deal with more enemies. I'm gonna go straight up with some gaming to everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and use this heavy bazooka to show you how it works. We shan't we're gone. See, it acts as a super bomb, and it can have, uh, the effects of a super bomb, such as collateral damage to, uh, targets that you weren't aiming at. And unlike a super bomb, it is not gone after one use. So as you will see, I still have the heavy bazooka, so... It'll come in handy, trust me. Alright. So now, let us use the pencil eraser. And that's the last time we will need to use the pencil eraser in the entire... the entire game, so... There's a phone at the end of Brick Road here. We're gonna call up Escargo Express. We're gonna offload shit. We're gonna offload some inventory. Let's see. Let me go through all four of these screens and see what shit I don't need anymore. Let's see. I don't need the pencil eraser. I don't need the hieroglyph copy. I could have sold the charm coin. Actually, I'm gonna keep it and sell it in a moment, and sell it like at some time. I don't need the pack of bubble gum. I don't need the Magnum air gun. Uh, Casey bat. I'm gonna keep for something coming up. Uh, I don't need the spectrum beam. I'm gonna sell a bunch of that shit. So. I think I'm gonna make two calls to Escargo Express because Escar uh, every time we call Escargo Express, you can carry, you can have him uh, pick up a maximum of three items. So on the first trip, I'm gonna have him take the pencil eraser, the hieroglyph copy, and uh, the pack of bubblegum. And on the second trip, I'm gonna have him take the Magnum air gun, which I don't think I can sell anything for. Uh, the Spectrum beam. 
I don't think I can sell that, but you never know. And... And the broken iron. Because I'm not going to end up using that, so... I'll be right back. So, okay, so I kind of changed the stuff for the second thing. I'm having him take the Magnum Air Gun, the key to the tower, and the bad key machine. So... I thought those were other pressing items that I don't need right now. They're just taking up space in my inventory, so... There you go. Alright. So now that we we have some inventory space cleared, and I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I give this Casey Bat to Bizzo. As, the, as, as crappy as the Casey Bat is, it does have one use. And I will, I will point out that one use when we get to it, but... For now, let's head to the uh, let's head to the lab and just figure out what the hell is even going on. Ready for instant wins. Shoot. Focus on the arachnid, duh. Yes. Damn it. Wow, a whole one HP of damage. I'm so scared. Yes, yes, I'm really I'm just getting free experience. It's a, it's a small amount of experience, but hey, whatever. Whatever helps you out, I guess. There's that crocodile. Crocodile is more of a threat in that particular situation. There's the arachnid, anybody can pretty much bash and kill in one hit. Whoosh. Go. Damn it. Attacking. Like, you're gonna do anything, you stupid bat. It was not quite the green screen I was looking for. Damn! Tame, and now we're going to uh, get up on out of here. Try to get out of this place. Get rid of the Mighty Bear 7s. 
Yes. Damn it. Oh, wow. Cave boy using its its giganticness to dodge quickly. What is up with that shit? I forget what uh, cave boy's speed stat is. But I believe that does have something to do with uh, dodging attacks. But whatever, we made it back to the lab. Talk to this mouse, dude. So now we get the Eraser Eraser, which will have a whopping one use, but hey, you know. Alright, revitalize. And now we have the Eraser Eraser. We can actually go into this place. But first... It's gonna land right on top of Stonehenge. He does drop in great spots to take pictures, I will give him credit for that. <laughs> 